right, guys, today we are super excited to be checking out a new artist, kind of because how we got here to him. But if you're new here, you're at Rob Squad Reactions with your girl Amber. And your boy Jay. And we first found this person as an actor, had no idea that he was an actual singer in the movie we watched. Make sure you go check that out in Rob Squad Movie Reactions. We watched a Smokey and a Bandit. And we had no idea who Snowman really was. Right, so we loved the soundtrack. It had Fire. Us, yeah, it had our feet tapping. It had us smiling the whole time. We're like, man, who is this person? Well, it was Snowman, Mr. Jerry Reed. And the song you guys told us to check out today was called Amos Moses. I'm ready to check this out. Like I said, we've heard snippets of his other songs just because it was in the movie and they like i said they were so so good so we're excited to be checking them out today but if you are new here to the channel make sure you like this video hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notification bell so you never miss a video because we almost drop one or two a day we drop three you guys every single day we're excited for this let's check out some amos moses mr jerry reed let's get it <laughs> Yes, here comes Amos Cowbell. Now Amos Moses was a Cajun. He lived by himself in the swamp. He hunted alligator for a living. He just knock him in the head with a stone. <laughs> the Louisiana law gon' get you, Amos. Hey. It ain't legal hunting alligator down in the swamp, boy. Now everybody blamed his old man for making him mean as a snake. When Amos Moses was a boy, his daddy would use him for alligator bait. <laughs> Tie a rope around his waist and throw him in the swamp. <laughs> alligator bait in the Louisiana Bayou. <laughs> About 45 minutes southeast of Tippy Doe, Louisiana. Lived a man called Doc Mills South and his pretty wife and all. Well, they raised up a son that could eat up his bait and groceries. Named him after a man of the cloth. Call him Amos Moses. Yeah. Hey. Ah. Hey. Ah. Hey. Now all the folks around South Louisiana said Amos. Was hey, I like this, especially the beat behind it. Definitely has your Why is it tapper. funky though? It is funky. It's got that by and his his voice in this has that Bayou sound to it. But I love love the storytellers. You know, he's talking about you know Amos Moses. He reminds me of um, Mr. Jim. He's saying uh, you know don't mess with. Uh, uh, Goodness. Yeah, I know. Don't, it's it? called Don't, Don't Mess Around with Jim was the name of it. Was it? Yeah, Don't Mess yeah. Around with Jim. That's kind so of, it was kind something of around those lines. Of that and like a Hot Rod Lincoln. Yeah. And we just we said Ray Stevens as well, another kind of storytelling but funny, uh, you know, singer. I like this one though. Like I really like Jerry Reed because he does have a very distinct sound, just because of the soundtrack that we heard in Smokey and the Bandit, which was an awesome movie. But the soundtrack was amazing, and he had this way about him. So we get it here, right? We get more storytelling, but it is very southern, but with a a, a funky flair. So I guess you could say, yeah, that's Bayou because that's how. How you would describe no, the body. Sure. But he's got the sound. And I love the part where his daddy used him for alligator bait. Used him for alligator I, bait. Oh, that Tied a me, rope to him, threw him in the water. That, that made me laugh so hard because that's how my daddy would have told us. Like, I'm going to use you for bait. <laughs> but this man actually did it. Let's get back. A hell of a man. Uh, he could trap the biggest, the meanest alligator. And just use one hand. That's all he got left hey. called alligator bait. <laughs> Sheriff got wind that Amos was in the swamp trapping alligator skin. So he snuck in the swamp, gonna get the boy, but he never come out again. Well, I wonder where the Louisiana Sheriff went to. <laughs> well, you can so get lost in the Louisiana Bayou. About 45 minutes southeast to Tippet, old Louisiana. Lived a cat called Doc Mill South and his pretty wife, Hannah. Well, they raised up a son that could eat up his way. Eat up his way Named him Rose after Rose. a man of the cloth. Called him Amos Moses. Sit down on him, Amos. Make it count, son. About 45 minutes on the east of Tippet, old Louisiana. Had a boy who ate his way in groceries. Well, we got one of them. Amos Moses. Guys, those, the, the, these type of artists are so much fun. They literally always put a smile on our yeah. face. 
I mean, because the, not only, you know, is it the level of creative, creativity they put in here, they still have to put, you know, a good tune behind right, it. Right, and he does a really yes. good job at that. Like, it's not just focused on the humor and the storytelling, which is a great part about J.R. Reed. They had, they had some banging parts I to know, it. Like, the I know, like, I... cowbell, the, the drum. But it was the single cowbell with just, like, the space they put in between. I don't know, it just made it hit harder. Something about it felt grit, gritty, even though it wasn't. Maybe it was the attitude that was given. But the sheriff got lost, and he said, hey, I mean, it, it's a bayou. I mean, you get lost in swamps all the time. What happened to the sheriff? And then, what was that movie, that show my dad used to watch about catching alligators? Oh, yeah, see, I, it was that's that. what it they reminded me of, swamp. swamp People. Was it I called think, I think Swamp, it was swamp people? people? Yeah. You all have, has anybody ever seen Swamp People? My daddy. Boudins. Yeah, my daddy wore that show out, but, like, this kind of gave me that vibe. They're trapping alligators out on the swamp out on the bayou which is not really a safe thing to do i absolutely loved it guys give us some more uh, would you call jay reed a comedic i i don't i, I don't know if i'd well, put him in comedic okay so in the Smokey I've... and the bandit reaction you know, like how we asked a lot about the music mm. without realizing that it was jay reed which was a very very fun surprise a lot of you came with a lot of respect for this man as far as a musician like a lot See, of that's respect what, like i get the feeling like uh, what's his name? Ray Stevens. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's more of a comedic singer. I feel like Jerry Reed maybe more like mu of, of a storyteller, like more story of a musician. Like storyteller music, absolutely. Th that's kind of the feel that I get. But I definitely want to hear some more by him. Something we haven't heard in Smokey the Bandit. So as always, guys, drop down below and give us some more Jerry Reed songs. Right. For fun. Like here, I was stuck on Burt Reynolds. I mean, how <laughs> could you not be stuck Snowman. on Burt Reynolds? We but, need some more Snowman. But Snowman crept up with the with the music and the personality in his songs. They have so much pizzazz and very very unique to Snowman. Like we, I'm not Snowman. Sorry to Jerry Reed, but we have heard some really fun He's songs. Snowman to me. Yeah, that has that comedic way about it, but. His just had the musicianship behind it that I really love. It was like. fire. But guys, thank y'all so, so much for that suggestion. As we always send you guys out of here every single day, no matter what channel it is on, we love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. And remember, every single day that you wake up, it is a blessing and that you are blessed to see another one, no matter what is going on. And for your new family members, we welcome you guys to RSR family. And we hope you enjoy your time here with us and the other RSR family members as well. But you have a goal every single day, just like we do. Let them know, Mom. All right, guys. Well, with music like this, it's really not that hard of a goal. But if you need a reminder, the goal is simple. All you have to do is make somebody smile. We love you guys. Until next time, we will see y'all later.